Hey everybody, welcome back to surviving the aftermath, which is what we're doing. We're surviving. Hope you're having a great day. I'm building a memorial. It's uh, where colonists can honor those who've lost their lives during the apocalypse and in the aftermath. It won't bring anyone back, but it provides entertainment and a sense of purpose for those who are still living. And so this is gonna, this is a happiness structure, right? And we're placing this in the middle of all the homes and stuff. We got these little gaps and stuff, right? Uh, the other facility that I could do that with right now is the shrine. It's a house of comfort and peace. Colonists may leave offerings, express their wishes, and say their prayers in silence. The place is of spiritual calming and provides entertainment. There's this plus 30 entertainment. Um, this memorial here does plus 20. Now, if you take a look at the happiness gauge here on the left, we can see that currently we have a 52 demand for entertainment. So that's hitting our happiness overall. 52 demand, and we're not producing any. So this is, entertainment is kind of like another resource for us to look at, right? So now that that shrine is built, right? And it's gonna provide, as long as somebody's working here, it's providing 20 uh, happiness. You take a look at this, or 20 entertainment. Now it says that we're producing 20. Demand is still 52, so we have a negative 32 balance. So if we can get more structures where people can you know, remember their fallen, things like that, we, we should. This needs to be upgraded to a toilet. That's, it has pollution. We need to get rid of that. Um, so I forgot to do that. We're gonna kind of clean up and do a little bit of the housekeeping stuff today. Um, stuff like that. Just really taking care of our, ironing down the details, taking care of our citizens, etc. cetera. And um, one of the things we're really lacking right now is food. We, we do not have enough food. So we're gonna wanna address that as well. A couple of things I'd like to do. I'm going to get two more people in each hunting cabin in the hope that that brings in the bacon uh, or I guess the venison a bit more. Uh, we've got fishing, which we've got two people in each fishing pier. That's great too. If we upgrade the fishing huts, we'll get even more fish and be able to fish during the winter. Um, not entirely sure if that's something I need to do, fishing in the winter, uh, but we'll see. The other thing that I think will probably be important is we're going to start dropping firewood is I'm going to put one person in here and then we've also got extra storage going in right here this general storage because our warehouse and stuff is starting to get a little bit full so I'm dropping this big old general storage here and it's going to be kind of right in with all this production right we're doing a lot of facilities here and resources here we're going to we're going to be doing stuff with tools tool shop etc going on that note though um, the boiler is actually pretty close we don't need this extra burner so I'm going to get rid of it Get a little bit of the resources back. And then this lumber yard, uh, I'm just gonna have you probably just, just get all the trees in this area. You are gonna go ahead and get all the trees that are just kind of in this area. And then I'm gonna take the forester, add an extra person and move your work area to be basically all of this. We've made a new discovery. And we're gonna see how that goes with sustaining our wood for the time being. Mm. All right, another discovery is made. So uh, panel coating is completed. Great. The next thing I think I want to look at to help our resources is going to be power saws. Yes, power saws. Uh, we're getting apprentices first, actually. That's that's actually more important because this allows us to get an extra person uh, to work on tools. But we are going to queue up power saws. So let the apprentices work, but queue up the power saws. That's good. Okay. Uh, the next thing to do is we're bringing in food from all the carcasses over here we uh are we we, get, we killed the bear that happened prime meat uh, but we also killed a lot of these all these bugs right our uh our specialist came over here and shot them all up so there's a lot of bugs and stuff that are gone here and we're probably going to want to keep expanding and working our way out this way i think food wise we're going to want to get even more heavily into agriculture these all these little fields i don't know if they're they're great um currently we're three percent grown with five yields, so nothing. It's a little hard to tell what the yield will be on this, but it does look like we don't have a production limit. So, so uh, I do need to keep an eye on food. That's that's something that is dropping a little bit, and it needs to happen. Resource-wise, plastic is a little light at the moment. I'm gonna add an extra person in here, and uh, yeah, they're just gonna focus this for now. It's right next to where all of our homes and stuff will be, and this is already delivered. So I think I'm just gonna have them build the shanty. We have bandits at the gate. And we have a battle to do. Isn't that nice? Let's 
let's make sure we staff here just in case they break through we'll staff here as well we don't have any free workers well that happens you know that's that's a thing that'll happen i guess maybe we let's ditch the logging camp for the time being just to make sure we have people and ready to go and then uh yes inuk bring you up front and uh that's actually the only one that's close by okay let's see what we can do with these guys a disorganized group of bandits has rallied around the gate they have an unnerving sheen to their eyes and none of them utter a word aside from incoherent yells it's unclear what was sent what has sent them into such a frenzy, but something needs to be done about it and quickly. We can go back to colony view. That's interesting. Try to distract them. Try to reason with them. Yeah, they're not going to be reasoned with. Let's try to distract them. All promises of wealth or lies about non-existent allies have no effect on these lowlifes. They're too far gone to understand any threats or promises, no matter how subtle or blunt. It's better to put these enraged people out of their misery. Fair enough. Let's go. So hopefully we can do that. Now, I don't know exactly how the damage output is weighed in the game. Like, do they do less damage the less bandits there are, like it is on the map? It doesn't appear so. Um, th this bar seems to go down at a consistent rate all the same, so I don't think so. But I've been trying to look at that. Um, like, whether or not as we kill the bandits, do they get weaker? And it doesn't, it doesn't look like that's the case. It kind of went down at a consistent way there. Um, repairing this is 18. So we're going to go ahead and mark that for repair. Get some extra carriers on there. Uh, okay, so another couple of things I wanted to do here was to upgrade some of these shanties. Right now, the tenement has two people living there. That will change as soon as this shanty is completed in its build. And I also wanted to look at where to put more entertainment stuff, right? This is one memorial. If we can have another one... I think it'd be good. It, it takes a lot of plastic to build these things. Um, and I kind of like the shrine because it's, uh, you know, it, it does more. It has more impact. This only is 10, actually. Oh, wait a minute. Does it have additional entertainment due to a variety bonus? Oh, okay. So I get hit. I see. So the shrine is a much better choice. Um, so I, I, I was thinking about putting it here, but it clearly does not fit there. Uh, I just unfortunately have things just not spaced out appropriately to do that um another we another thing i could do is put it on the end here kind of dips into my farmland potentially but i couldn't put a big field here anyway and i can fit a small i can fit a medium field in here so perhaps we'll do that uh i could also put it here on the back side this isn't bad this would be an okay spot for a shrine actually uh oh it's in the middle it's in the way of this maintenance depot yeah well, maybe I turn it on its side. Like this. Yeah, it'll let me do that. Alright, let's put this down. And that'll be the shrine. We have enough to build that. It takes 30 fun boxes. These are just like these sort of vague uh, items that help with, uh, you know, fun stuff, entertainment stuff. Currently, I only have 10. So, it looks like they're going to deliver all the stuff that's here. They'll deliver all these things, but they're not going to be able to build it successfully until we have more fun boxes, unfortunately. We can find them on the map and stuff, so we should look at that, too. Uh, low tools you're building. Uh, hopefully. I need to get tools brought here, actually. Huh? All right. Let's let's take a look at this really quick. We'll do this first. It's a busy day of work and duties, yet one colonist has oddly stopped working. Look at this guy. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> okay. Wow. He's interesting, isn't he? Uh, he's laying on his back, simply staring at the open sky. That doesn't surprise me. When questioned why he's laying there, he smiles a wide, half-toothless smile and sighs. After everything that's happened, we were given a second chance at life. So why don't you? All right, let's join him. <laughs> Negative happiness. But we gained fun boxes. Look at that. A few colonists joined the man, realizing they haven't had a fun in a long time. They calmly watched the clouds drift by, nonchalantly, talking about the ways of old. The man takes out a wooden box and hands it to the others to give some joy back. Meanwhile, the other colonists were not as amused, having to pick up the slack for the cloud watchers. So negative happiness, but we get the fun boxes. Seems like an interesting trade. I'm in. 
and now that's delivered here. So now we only need 10 fun boxes to finish the shrine. I think they'll be a lot happier, you know? Like, overall, they're going to be happier with uh, me being able to get the shrine for them. Mission complete. All right, Hakim is out here. He's got about half health. And there's also some more signs to be had here. I don't want him to get this. I think it's not a good idea for him to be out there. Uh, he could. He, he could make that. The other one he couldn't make, right? Maybe, maybe, I don't. He could do this. I'm going to have him do this instead, though, I think. Yeah, five damage every 12 hours. So he'll take about like 11 damage here, but he'll get the parts. And those, that's good parts. So All right. we'll have you grab that. Yep. Aramis, let's check out what you guys are doing here. Uh, the three of you, I think, should be able to take these guys out pretty easily. So we're going to go ahead and just have all of you start this attack right now. Locked and low. Yes. Showtime. And uh, we just got everything with Pinkman here. We just got all of those. So that's a lot of components and rare metals. If there is any chance of getting fun boxes now, we should probably look at that, right? Yeah, right down here. Oh, we can set up a, a convenience store in this sector, actually. It's this sector. So set up a settler here, and we just get one fun box every 12 hours. That's That's interesting. Uh, more motels. Let's have you... These guys are going to win. Yeah, they're, they're going to win. It's going to be fine. Um, we're going to have you grab the meds instead. Can do. And then uh, Wallaby, in. he's almost home. Yes, he's got a whole bunch of components on him. But no fun boxes. Sad. Uh, what about you? Yes. You got any fun boxes? You do. 25 of them on Darius. And a bunch of clothes. Sure thing. All right, we can build the shrine now. What's Very up? cool. Right away get all you guys inside and then yeah okay. you're still on your way back beautiful okay so we have enough fun boxes now delivered to the camp to complete the shrine that's gonna be excellent for the sake of entertainment so we're looking at now a negative 32 balance we're about to have only a negative two balance that's gonna help our happiness a lot more than uh uh, then the cloud watchers this year the cloud watching thing is also a temporary buff to where the shrine is a permanent in uh sorry a, a temporary nerf temporary deficit decrease whatever uh i can speak but this is a permanent buff like it's going to constantly provide that entertainment for people as we go let's take a look here 78 plastic if i wanted to upgrade one of these yeah, I could do that. This one. And let's go with this one, too. We'll upgrade these two houses. That's going to cause a whole bunch of people to have to sit in the tenement. But that's okay. Just, it's a temporary thing, right? Here we go. And I want to start looking at what it might take for additional farming. I know we're planting and cutting down trees and stuff in this area. And you know what? We're also removing the pollution here, too, right now. So what if I was to take a large field maybe place this 89% isn't bad 93% 94% I mean like it's not that bad but if I was to place a medium one instead I could probably get like 100% here maybe we'll do like one right here I could also look at doing the irrigated irrigated fields and then I can place these kind of anywhere. But I think I'm going to add one more field right here just to do it. Just to really, I, I want to make sure I get as much food as possible. And I, I don't know if adding a, a third person to this large field is necessary. You know? But while it's growing, they act as carriers, so I might as well. Yeah. All right, so the shrine is done. Take a look at it. Uh, looking pretty good. And now our deficit is just negative two. We're helping people have entertainment, which right now is just mostly just remembering the dead is their only entertainment we have, I guess. Improve shanty here, improve shanty here. I could probably improve this one. I got the resources to do so. So let's upgrade that one. And how's our storage looking? 10% capacity. Nice. All right. So we have extra person in the tool shop now. And I think that's kind of takes care of all of the, like the little nuances, right? That takes care of all of our deficits. Uh, food storage is actually, yeah, it's out here getting all these animals, which is which is good. Um, there's not really a whole lot left to go and grab. I think I saw a bush over here somewhere. At some point, I think it was 
Turn the camera this way. I want to say it was over here. No? I'm wrong? I could have swore I saw a bush over here. Maybe it was a wood pile. Yeah, I think it's this right here. It's that wood pile right there. So it wasn't the food. In any case, um, yeah, well, we're going to make sure both of these are highlighted so that they get the food. We've made a new discovery. Br bring that over there. Power saw is a complete. So does that mean I can now upgrade you? Yes, I can now upgrade it to a sawmill. 30 components. Wow, that's expensive. Yes, do it. All right, good. And it looks like the footprint was a little bit bigger. Doesn't that look like it, it expanded it? It got bigger, didn't it? Hold on. I think that's definitely bigger. So does it, it actually does allow you to upgrade buildings? No, it is the same size. Okay. It is the same size. Wow, it'll just look bigger to me. Doesn't that look bigger to you? This to this? Yeah, maybe not. I'm just thinking, uh, yeah. Just looking at it weird, I guess. Uh, let's make sure we're going... Uh, let's do some potatoes. It's fine. All right. Good. Uh, I'm going to make sure I never go above below five carriers. We have 76. So let's go below... No, don't go below six carriers now. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just staff as many people as I can in these buildings, but we're not going to go below that certain amount. And then I think once the sawmill is working, we can probably tear this one down. And just make sure that this one's staffed, and then we can uh, we can just move the the area that this one's focusing on somewhere else. Uh, we have a lot of trees here to cut down, but we're also decent on wood at the moment. Let's um, move the production limit on the lumber yard. We're gonna move this to let's say 500. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Let's go back to like let's go like 560 or something. All right, it's fine. And then we'll also, once we get up to that high, if we ever do, then we'll start using it to make more of the firewood uh, instead. All right. Research-wise, power saw is being done. Sewing machines could be good, but I think possibly getting to tool smithing would be better. A grand tool shop, allowing us to make high-quality, durable tools instead. And then we can get into motorization, which allows us to get the garage, which then allows us to fix that car, and then we can use that car. All that stuff sounds really nice. Um, how about food, though? That's still a concern, right? Husbandry. Animal husbandry. Maybe we can look at maybe getting a couple of animals. We should we should try that. Let's, let's grab this, and then we'll take a look at our trade partners. Yes, trade partners, because the trade center is done. And you can have one trading route for each person working here. So we're going to take a look at that today, too. We won the battle. Yes, we saw that coming a mile away. We have uh, some stuff to get here. We got some more clothing we can get. Who's got the really awesome scavenging? 100%, 100%, 150%. 100 I think it was Pinkman with 200%, right? Your orders. Yeah, he's got 200%. Well, we're going to let him do his thing then. Um, huh? We'll have you go uh, 150%. Let's have you grab these clothes. You're gonna take some damage, but it's only 20 damage. Okay. Have you grabbed the clothes? What you, need? you are what, 150? 100% and 100%. So you can reach here. That, oh, that's not, oh, I was hoping we can get more clothes there. Okay. We'll have you maybe go all the way over and get the antibiotics. Bring those back. And then we'll have you right. grab these. You're okay on health. Three days, though. Yikes. Hang on. Now, five damage every 12 hours. Three days, 12 hours. That's seven pings. You're going to take 35 damage here. Which you have the health to, to work with that, but that's about it. So we, you have to come back to camp right after this. I don't know if that's what I want you to do or not. Ready. Aramis has more health. It would have been better to have him do this. What you need? I think I'm going to switch that up. We're going to send you that way, and then Aramis is going to come and do this. Going to I mean, it's not going to happen now, but it'll happen later. Mission complete. All right. Akeem, good job. Let's uh, have you All scout right. this, then scout this, and then I'll have you head home. And good. 1109 is how much currency we have. Let's take a look at trade routes, huh? So, again, with the trading center down, every person you have working here is a trade route you could potentially have. 
So we're going to take a look at these the shaking hand icon down here. And this gives us all the societies that we have met. And those societies can be traded with. They have a variety of different stuff that they offer to trade with. And what we are looking for, for the purposes of animal husbandry, would be something like pigs. So we have a decent relationship with Sage Ford. Let's go ahead and just click here. And it takes three days, four hours to actually make the trade. But if I wanted to, say, get one of the pigs, uh, I'll get the pig, for example, um, then I could try. So uh, let's try the, the trade here. And we want, I would think, at least two pigs, right? So they can, you know, do what pigs do. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, now, this one is a special deal, Iodine Pills. And I believe by trading this, we will also increase or improve uh, our relationship with them. And I kind of do need Iodine Pills. So I'm going to go ahead and just buy, I think, 10 of them just to kind of help our relationship a little bit. In exchange, we could send them pollution. I guess that's what they want us to send. They want pollution? They 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 want they want pollution. Oh, okay. You can have it. <laughs> Might as well get the rest of the iodine pills now. Uh, we can get sunflower seeds, which I can use to make oil, which is kind of nice for the cars and stuff, but I don't know if we really need it yet. It's not necessarily the best uh, thing to buy at the moment. I definitely don't want to trade any food. Um, I don't want to trade really anything of significant value. If I'm being honest. The automatic rifles are worth a lot, and we're getting kind of, kind of getting them for free, in a way. Um, so we could offset our cost a little bit by giving them a few automatic rifles. That would offset our cost quite a bit. Uh, and in that case, I guess we could buy a few more pigs. It's going to take three days to get here. So we should be able to build a pen by then and then have all four pigs in there. So let's, let's just get, uh, let's get three pigs. I can't really afford enough. Yeah. So we're going to give you, uh, because we are getting these things kind of for free and they're worth a lot. The automatic rifles are worth a lot. So we're going to give you, I think one more of these. Not quite enough. Okay. How about one shotgun? How about two shotguns? Okay. We have enough to make this trade. We're going to get three pigs and 20 iodine pills. That's like, that's a lot. Like imagine in the real world, you're trading three pigs. You're going to get three pigs and 20 pills. In exchange, you're giving six automatic weapons. <laughs> like what? Why would we do this? I'm going to, though. I want the pigs. Um, so reputation is going to go way up with these guys, too. So hopefully that's good for us. This is basically all of our money. So we'll go ahead and confirm that. And uh, it takes three days and four hours to make that trip and make that trade. So we'll go ahead and confirm that. Our relationship's going up now. So we have a positive relationship with them now. And so now we need to... Research animal husbandry, that's going to be done in, in less than three days. So we'll need to get make sure that we have the resources to build the pen. So what is that? What are the resources that we'll need to build the pen? It's going to be a ranch. And the ranch will require just wood, concrete, and metal. It doesn't actually say specifically, uh, you know, what we need. It does have one work slot. It doesn't look like it takes any water at a base, but it will take water as you get more and more animals. They will consume water. Uh, we also need to place this in a place with heat because in the winter time, you need to keep the place warm for the animals. So there's a lot that goes into this and it will output eggs, meat, fibers, and something else. I'm not sure what that is, but maybe milk. That's... Well, okay, this is this is the ranch, right? So it can output a variety of different things. It's not going to output eggs and fiber with pigs. It's just going to output meat. But if we had something like, say, chickens in here, then we could get meat and eggs. If we had uh, goats, it would probably be something like meat and fiber, uh, maybe some milk uh, with cows and goats, etc. So there's lots of things that you can get with this building. But we'll need to place it in a smart place. Currently, I'm thinking I'm placing it here. Like back here would be nice. It's right next to a heater, which is pretty good. It's out of the way. It's not near a significant source of pollution, and it would be covered by the maintenance depot anyway. Although I kind of need to have maybe one more maintenance depot, maybe right here, to cover this little area. And then at that point, 
you really kind of only have a few little patches in here that's not covered by a circle. Then, of course, all of this isn't covered either, but... We're just going to have one person in that lumber yard. All right, so the sawmill is done. It requires electricity. I did not... Did not... I, I don't know why I didn't see that. Um, I just, just didn't. It's what happens, okay? It's what happens. So we have all the lumber mills doing their thing here. I'm gonna have you guys get all your, yeah, let's have you guys get all your stuff like right over here. We need to hook that up to power. That requires us to use transformers to bring the power over. We were gonna have to do that anyway, but now it's just forcing my hand now. So transformer, looks like it's just the zones that have to touch. That's awesome. Good to know. So this, if I rotate you, doesn't seem to matter yeah it's going in the same direction anyway so we'll have this be here let's say yeah as far over as we can go right here and then if i'm gonna do that i might as well bring it down yeah i might as well bring it down like this like nearby and then i can cover power into all these buildings too there are going to be large transformers as well this is on a path though isn't it I don't want to block this because I'm sure we can work that later. If I place this here, I probably can't place that there. So if I move one over, though, I can. It's just going to be over top the path. So I'll have to move the road. We'll just move the road. It's fine. Roads are easy to move. Uh, we're going to start by... Oh, the paved road has no construction costs. Uh, that part I didn't know. That part was... Okay. We'll have you build that, and then uh, we'll go out like like this, I guess, and then next to this here. Yeah, and we'll just have you come straight down. I guess this is this road's gonna zigzag. I don't need it to zigzag. It's already zigzagging. But now when we build roads, we just build them with the concrete ones instead. That's a lot of construction to queue up. I think I'd rather do this. Yes. Well, it's already out here, right? I could put like decorative stuff right here. Never mind. Do this. Yeah. And then uh, this can go this way and then this goes up like that. For now, we'll say those are the roads. There's a lot of things queued up now. So I need to let that play out. But um, this gives me a transformer here. It's only... It's a modest amount of supplies. We have them. And then we're going to need a, yet another one. So another transformer will have to go out this way. If I can get it in to be a reasonable... Well, I can't see if it connects to this one until that one's built. Uh, but ideally, this is where all of our like main building industry is going to be. So <laughs> the transformers are going to have to be spread throughout here anyway. And it looks to me... Like, that one touches the zone, like, right here. So I should be able to maybe do it like this. But if I could have done it in here, that would have been better. Because then the houses could have had power. It is possible that right here will work. There's a road right here. We can get, get we could just get rid of it and place this next to it. And that would take care of... That would take care of power, too. So I'm going to look at taking down this road... And just see what we get out of this. I need that transformer built before I know whether or not the range will fit. But now all of this stuff just gets powered, which is really nice. Time for a celebration. Colonist wants to prepare a feast. Yeah, okay. We have to we totally have food for that. There are talks of planning a big, grandiose feast for the colonists to enjoy. Well, that's interesting. We lose 15 fish and gain 15 meals. Which it technically is a cost because the fish could have become 30 meals, but uh, it's okay. This is, this is fine. Let's have it. Okay. So this is actually a multi-part thing. I didn't know that. <laughs> Celebrata celebratory venting. Food is prepared, drinks poured, and tables set all over the settlement. People soon forget their exhaustion as the celebration starts. Suddenly, a loud noise cuts through the air. One man has thrown over tables around him. People look People around look shocked, some almost in tears. What's the matter with you? What's there to celebrate? We're all dead. 
There's no hope! None! The man fumes. Let's show sympathy. If we stop him by force, that's a little bit... I feel like that's not going to make people happy, but... I don't know, maybe it would. Let's show sympathy. A few colonists approach the man, telling them... Telling him they understand his feelings and that they're sorry for everything he's been through. They reassure him that things will get better and that the colony will survive. More colonists join in to comfort the man and he soon breaks down in tears. I'm sorry, I didn't want to ruin everything. It just hurts so much, he sobs. Despite the incident, the rest of the, the, rest of the celebrations are carried out in better spirits than before. 25 happiness. Wonderful. Very good, look at all these green bars. Oh yeah, baby, bring it up there. Uh-huh. All right, now, after our animal husbandry is done, uh, large stalls could be good. I think we'll be all right with the small ones for the time being. We have three pigs. Um, however, we're going to want to, I think, go after public house. This would give uh, additional entertainment. We could also do aggression release and stuff. This is just more, it's just more entertainment. Like, I think more entertainment is good. Keep people happy, right? Uh, and this one doesn't actually cost anything. As far as I can tell, anyway, it doesn't have any real... Okay, it's fun boxes and stuff. But, like, it doesn't cost us ongoing power or ongoing uh, water. Like, the Botanical Garden takes water. Public House takes water as well. Um, we might upgrade to Proper Burial, maybe. And then um, Moving Pictures and Library both take power all the time. But then you get to Comfortable Housing. And this is where it gets really nice. Um, and I need to go down a full stretch of one of these paths in order to get to that. They're very expensive to build, but they're also very nice. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking maybe it might be better to just sprint one to get to this and then fill in the gaps later. But if you take a look at the research costs involved, these are more expensive than these ones over here. And I can get I can get rid of my deficit with, with uh, entertainment pretty quickly. So I think I'm going to go with the aggression. Well, we're going to queue that after this. And then after that, though, we can sprint towards houses, potentially. The comfortable housing is going to be good. And then I most likely will, like, over time, there are survivors at the gate. change all of this to be other housing. But I think we'll have another neighborhood kind of over in this area. And this can be... Like, this can be where we set up houses and stuff, right? So, we're not necessarily going to convert all of this stuff to housing, at least not in the beginning. It's going to end up being a brand new neighborhood, which is kind of still close to all the workspaces and the resources. Group of survivors at the gate. Let's take a look. Yes. Make sure we put you close, just in case we need to deal with, uh -huh. you know, any negative Nancys. Bring you in. Yep, looks like this. Good. Staff somebody here. And staff somebody here. Okay, ready? Let's go see what they're all about. A ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. Okay, they have beetle bread and wax worms. That's gross. They're bringing three children. Fine. Um, they're bringing three elders eh, and one adult. It's it's not great. They're not a great group. Um, but the three children. I mean, that's going to be four working adults. That's not bad. It could be worse. I just feel like maybe the majority of them being elders is a little bit... Eh. I guess it's not the majority, but whatever. This is food. I'll, I'll accept them. It's fine. And now they're going to attack us right away. Yeah. Saw that coming. So now we'll just make sure that we take them down. This is the reason why I want people here to do this. If you're wondering, like, why do you need all these people guarding the gate when you accept people? It's because every once in a while they pose as colonists and then they attack you anyway. Um, the interesting part will be whether or not the people who attacked us are the elderly hey, or, hey, like, the working age people. Uh, I'm trying to click him. It won't let me. I guess it looks to me like all three kids, right? That's that's pretty help, clear. Help. And then Inek is here. So uh -huh. this, uh, this is Zhang. Wait a minute. Are those my... Yes. Yeah, those are my specialists. So the three kids, definitely. And then I don't know about the other one. Maybe it's you? Are you the other one that came in? You're an adult? I, I don't, I honestly don't know. But uh, we defended that pretty well. Thank you, guard towers and stuff. Okay, good. 
and we got 80% growing on that. Okay, 968. So I'm starting to see the food quantity go up, and that's a good thing. I'm going to want to get another cookhouse very soon here, I think, though. Because uh, we're, I think we're running pretty low on meals. Like, I'm not seeing meals. I'm seeing a lot of different nutrition. But I think I think having another cookhouse is a good idea. Eventually, again, we'll, we're going to want the mess hall. But I think for now, there's my ranch. Okay, so the ranch, we got to put this in before the pigs get here. And I'm still thinking, like, right here is a good place for this. Um, can't put a path there. Darn. I could put this over here. It's not the worst place in the world. It's not bad. It's it's near the heat, right? Is it? Not really. Okay. We're going to put the ranch right here with its back to the other building here like this. We'll put it like this. And then uh, this road will be a paved road that goes this way and up and then over like so don't need this little we don't need this little thing right here okay so we'll see how that does or how that goes we'll want them to build this pretty quickly we have all the resources to do so, so we want to we want them to build this very quickly because the pigs will be here and we we have to be able to store them or they'll pro i think they just don't they die after a little while of not being in a ranch like they'll hang out but if we don't get the ranch, then they'll just die, I think. So, yeah, I want to look at that. Let's take a look at the map again. Hakeem has got iodine pills. Okay, let's go ahead and search that. Pinkman's all done with the meds. Very nice. Um, will you survive this? You have really fast scavenging. 15 damage every 12 hours. You're going to take 45 damage. You have 47 health. I, Like... Mathematically, this makes sense, but like, what if something happens? What if it's a rounding thing, right? Like, like uh, it's fifteen point two damage, or it's time is one day twelve hours. But it, I don't know. I don't want to take a chance on anybody getting that close to death. Um, so I'm not, not going to do it. I, I, mathematically, it may not make sense to to look at this and go, "Well, he has forty seven health. He's going to take forty seven or forty five damage, so he'll live." You can see that he'll live. And I'll probably get comments that say, no, he'll absolutely be fine. But, like, what if he's not? <laughs> like, I can't take that. Look at how much stuff he has on him. I don't, wanna, I don't want that to be a problem. He takes no damage here. Um, but you know what? So she won't either. I think you can reach it now. No, you can't. Well, since both of you are reaching it at the same time, I'll have okay. you return to Colony. Pinkman, since your scavenging is faster... Your movement is a lot worse. I'm gonna have you go back to Colony. You Your movement is terrible. Your command. Hakeem, go get that. Uh, you are already getting that. Good. Uh, is that everybody? Yeah. Zhang is here, and then um, I think. Did we get another one of these? Yeah. Eco-friendly, clean five pollution deposits, and then truly special. Had ten specialists alive at once. Oh, nice. Well acquainted. Meet all societies and unlock a hundred techs. Okay, so we're, we're I don't know what the achievements. I think those are just kind of like for sharing your score with other people. I think that's probably what that is. Um, we don't have a working lumber yard yet, so let me evaluate this. All right, we're gonna take this transformer. It looks like I can put this. Yeah, I want to put this, like, right next to this place. Like, right here. Yeah. So, that works. Uh, and it gets us over here a little bit further. I was kind of hoping, like, can I get that building, too? But no. Okay. So, I'll, we'll go ahead and place it here. And we'll get that built. Apologies if you hear anything uh, on my end. There's uh, My neighbor has decided he wants to mow his lawn right now. And uh, his house is... You know, I live in a subdivision, so it's... You know, I'm not like uh, sharing a wall or anything, but it's still like uh, it's pretty loud. <laughs> He's right next to my I, my my office is in my basement, and it's there's that you know those windows way up high, right? That you can get, let light in. Yeah. Well, anyway, his his yard where he's mowing is right next to me, so ipso facto you might see 
you might hear a lawnmower every once in a while. I'm sorry for that. I'll try to cut it out. Maybe you won't even notice it because I'll cut it out. Uh, I was going to make another cookhouse. Yes, that's what I was going to do. Another cookhouse. I'm remembering things now. All right. So cookhouse, the next cookhouse, it needs to be in range of one of these. And um, I'm starting to think like I'm, I probably won't use both of these. This is a 78% and this is a 69%. So like maybe I don't use this. Or maybe, like maybe I just set this up and just say, look, it works, you know? But it's out of range of that anyway, so I'd have to cover this one. Uh, I'll have to just have to get more water t towers, I guess. Put it right here. That's just like, it's it's really close to the vegetables, that's that's for sure. Definitely, definitely close to them. Alright, let's put this cookhouse here. We weren't going to put another field there or anything. Take the road, bring it all the way down, and then over, like right next to the well and stuff, I guess. Might as well give it some space. We can build other things here. And then we're going to need another water tower, so we'll just stick a water tower uh, right here. On the corner. Yeah. Might as well. All right. George died of old age. Sorry, George. Apologies for that. It's uh, it's nature, man. I can't control nature, I'm afraid. Rats? A fierce mouse. I know what to do with fierce mice. I know exactly what to do with you, fierce mouse. Kill him. Take him out. Bam. Yep. yep. It's okay. It's okay. The specialist can handle it. No fear. No fear, specialist. Really? There it goes. All right, now look, go get the meat. Cool. Okay, uh, just waiting for him to add the remainder of this metal. Water collector contaminated. Oh yeah, of course, of course it is. I mean, it's like right next to this. Uh, again, this was like my emergency one, so I wasn't going to use it. Uh, unless I absolutely had to. So I'm kind of okay with this being a thing. Because we're not working it anyway. Uh, but now like now that I think about it, like in an emergency, right, we would hit this button, decontaminate it, and then go work it. So I'm I'm actually okay with it. Rats are eating food. Great. Wonder how I can prevent that. Like how does one go about preventing the rats from eating your food, you know? We've made a new discovery. Oh. Aggression release is done. Um, do we do public? No, not public house yet. Let's go to uh, aqua farm. Not, not bad. Large stalls, large ranch. No, no, we don't need it. Shh, we can go down to chef training and go to the mess hall. Good. Energy consumption. This reduces energy consumption on just the, just the greenhouse doesn't help anything else so maybe not uh, large water storage eh. bigger barrels eh. maybe wind power I'm digging the whole like this this idea of helping with people being happy I'm liking this let's let's, let's hit this again we'll go down to botanical garden I've changed my mind all right brawl pit 15 fun boxes we have 25. The brawl pit. Who wants? Who wants to have? Who wants to have a fight? Hmm? Fight night. The brawl pit. Kind of don't want to interfere with my power area, since this building doesn't need power. There's really no reason to put it there. Unfortunately, I can't place it here. It would have to be over in this area. Uh. Yeah. Like I could put it right in here. I'm kind of thinking about putting it right in here, but I don't want to interfere with the trees. I want this area. Whoops. Hey, can you just cut down all the trees in this area? I know you don't have power yet, but you're about to. As soon as this is done, you'll have power. There you go. Okay. So with power here, we'll activate you. And then, um, then you guys will all be working over in this area instead. And then 
lumber yard, lumber yard. Um, with a sawmill, it's an extra 12 production. I just think it's not necessary to have two of these, especially two buildings with each having one person. I think, I think it's not necessary. I'm going to demolish this one. I'm going to get rid of that one. Maybe the brawl pit can go over here. Maybe. Just maybe. Right next to the pigs. That's actually kind of funny. In a little bit of a way. Like this is a brawl pit next to the pig pen. Kind of like it. Now that I... Yeah, I kind of like it. I'm going to do it. I like it a lot, actually. Right on the right on the water too. So if like you know, the guy loses and you know we'll have him go sleep with the pigs. You know maybe chuck him in the river, take a bath, you filthy animal. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. They can go swimming after a nice fight. You know. Tools is still hard to come by. It's a really difficult thing to keep track of, and also we're down to just 116 metal from all the stuff we've been building. And I feel like, eh, like, where are we going to get the rest of this metal? There's got to be a way to, well, it is. We, we increase our production to the point where we can now work the, the big deposits. These are all plastic, all of them. So we're going to need like underground metal harvesting right over here. You know, it's going to have to happen. Uh, give me you work area. Yeah, I just want to make sure that you're getting all these, all the pollution out of here, okay? And then if I staff an extra person at the trade depot. Oh, you. Oh, you don't have access to water. Yeah. Um, put a little water tower next to you. Kind of want to put it in a place where it can be used by other buildings too, but I'm not going to get that. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that. I might have, like, something like right here would have been cool. But right next to, the, I mean, honestly, I could just replace the burn. If I replace this. And then maybe move it to be, it's in a good spot, actually. I, I don't really want to move it. Whatever, we'll put it right back here. It's fine. Put it right there. So you are going to make... You're making vegetables, you're making meat meals. So you guys are gonna be making vegetable meals. That makes sense, okay, good. Okay, uh, I think we're we're set up for more food. So we shouldn't have a problem with food anymore. Food, food should be taken care of for quite some time now. And uh, especially when the pigs arrive, that'll definitely that'll definitely be taken care of. And then on the map, Job done. Makim can see electronics, fuel, and another a place for science. Okay, let's have you grab the fuel. You got it. And I'll probably have you come back home after that. Everybody else is just on their way back home, I think. Yeah, like you guys are just working your way. It takes a while, but you're just working your way back home. Yeah. When you get here. Yeah. When you get here. This notice is going to remain forever, isn't it? I think it is. Brawl pit's done. I think that means that we've now taken care of... Oh, hang on. Okay, there's nobody to work it. You know what? I just don't want this notice to be up on the screen the whole time, and I can't get rid of it. I can't dismiss it like the other ones. Like, this one I can dismiss it, but this one I can't. So, whatever. I'll just destroy it. It's, it's whatever. We don't need it anyway, right? There's some extra wood and plastic. Bring it on in. So we need a place to we need a person working here. I think we will go ahead and just take one of you out of the cookhouse and that should get you in this. There we go. And that should also let somebody work the ranch. Excellent. This is going to be a pig ranch, but we don't have any pigs at the moment. We kind of have to wait for the animals to arrive. And then here's the recycler. That's already done. So we want you We've to go get discovery. that plastic, please. Now the botanical garden is finished. We're going to have to build that now, too. Let's take a break from the pleasure stuff. Because we have enough to sustain our colony for the time being. And I think I want to work my way towards... I 
don't I, I don't need to make my own weapons. We're getting them for free right now. The sauna would be good for health. That's great. Steam rooms, things like that. Like maybe I need to go through weapon crafting just to get to medical center. Strange. Mm -hmm. Search protectors. The lightning rod. Now this is important. And disaster forecasting too. Okay. We'll head towards the medical center then. As fast as we can anyway. Uh, we may not be able to research things just yet. But we're going to head there uh, as we can. And then... Uh, we're uh, we're looking solid now. Look at this. We have a we have a balance, a positive balance for production on entertainment. And we have very happy people. Good happiness overall, decent comfort, a little bit restlessness, but people are starting to live in comfortable shelters. Right? That's okay. Starting to get a little more comfortable. We have enough resources to like slowly start like improving the shanties and stuff as we go, right? Every now and then we'll just improve one. Stuff like that is cool. I'm digging it. Got three medics on duty. Should be more than sufficient for the time being. And then uh, at night, we have a... Ugh. <laughs> Stupid meteors. What are you doing? Huh? Are you guys getting ma major contaminated as you walk through there or what? Um, I was thinking that... I lost my train of thought. Oh, the battery, right? Negative 22 at night, right? We can last, but I need to see what our positive balance is during the day. Because if our positive balance is not at least 22, then we will slowly lose power as time goes on. So right now, our only our energy surplus is only two. So if we want to continue with our good energy solution, we need to continue by adding another solar panel. So I am going to add one more panel on this side and uh let's do two more two more panels on this side that's what we need and then let's move the environmental we could move it over here but like is it important that we get rid of that no it's more important that we get rid of this we'll get rid of that next the sawmill should be taking down all these trees and then that will open up farmland for me again and uh and then while that's happening, the forester is hopefully planting a ton. Yep. Planting as fast as they can in this area. And then this lumber yard is just going to yeah, keep cutting down trees maybe like, like this. So you're a little bit further out this way. And that gives the planters time to plant. And then once the sawmill is done with this area, then we can shift it back over here. I don't know if I need this many on meat. I'm going to pull one of you guys off. Okay, so seven seven carriers is all we have now. I just want to see the pigs arrive. How long until the pigs arrive? You know? Like, when is that going to happen? Yeah, brawl. Yeah. Where, where, when is this going to happen? Huh? Trade? What's going on? We got uh, eight hours. All right, good. If I add another person in the trade, then I can make a new trade. And to make that new trade, I would probably want to get... I'd like to grow my own wheat, you know? Instead of having to rely on getting it from other people, I'd like to grow my own. This guy has plastic. Uh, we I just started working that new supply though. So I'll have enough plastic. Metal is the struggle at the moment. It almost always is. Metal scrap is 89. Um, because I started making my own tools. We can always go over here to get the metal. That's not too bad. It's not that far away either. Uh, and then if we have to, also there's two extra sources here, which is kind of a trek. It's a pretty, it's a pretty big trek, but um, it's okay. Maybe we'll have you. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait. So I think we'll we'll get this one, and then we'll get this one, and we'll hope that by that time, that should maybe that's some, maybe that should be what we do. We take the resource tree and research and get all the way down to industrial mining. We're not that far away. It's another 1100 research. We can go through sewing machines and then we're in industrial mining. And that allows us to extract it from the deeper sources. Uh, it's slow, but guarantees a long-term source of metal for the colony. It also causes pollution in that area too, which is a problem for some of the plastic deposits. But I think 
because it causes pollution, I had actually forgotten that. Um, so because it causes pollution, I probably won't use this these two. So that gives me this whole area to use for the mess hall, which is what I wanted. Um, and actually, maybe I move it to here, depending on the footprint for that building. Really? Really? That's, that's what we're going to go with, huh? We're going to... Yeah, okay, sure. We need to get lightning rods. Because, like, they, the lightning seems to only strike the electronics. So I need to put a lightning rod, like, right here. If it fits there. If it doesn't fit there, then we'll put it behind this battery and we'll put another battery here. But that needs to be something that happens, unfortunately. Right now, our deficit is... Our deficit is going to be 22 at night. Our positive is 18. We are eventually going to run out of power with this. But we have a little bit of time, and I may not need every building to run all the time. For example, I might des I might shut off or pause the environmental station after this is done because we won't really need to remove pollution. Uh, like getting this stuff over here maybe it might be an important thing. That's a lot of pollution here, um, especially if we want to do underground and extract this concrete supply, it would be a good idea to get rid of this pollution just so it's not like double, like hitting us hard right there like that. Uh, but once this is done and we get rid of this, specifically this one, I think this is the more important one. I know they're going after these other two, but this is the more important one because it's hitting this. It's getting the water collector polluted too. So I think I'm going to have them focus their attention actually on something like this. That way they finish up this one since it's almost done. But then they go after that one. And uh, once this is taken care of, we shouldn't have to really deal with pollution on that water collection anymore. Yeah. All right. Trade convoy has arrived. Excellent. So with that being done, we should see the pigs. Yay! The piggies. The three piggies are here. And they're sucking down six water. Of course they are. I need more water now. It's okay. We'll take care of it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. We'll continue and take care of other things next time. Bye-bye.